Okay, everyone. Today you get a very special treat here. Yeah, you get because the Because I have... Who, who's with me? Who's with me? Nick. Who's helping me today? Nick. Yeah, and who are you? Nick. Yeah, but who are you? I mean, uh, like, what's special about you? Uh, I love you. Huh? I do love you. Yeah, I do love you. I think I so, hear church. I do hear the church, too. You're right. My mommy was sitting out here earlier, and she was listening to it. But should we show everybody our wormies? There's a church right next to my school, too. Yeah? Should we, um, <coughs> should we show everybody the wormies? Mm-hmm. Hey. Yeah. Hey, don't, don't touch the camera. I know something special about it. What do you, what do you know? It's a great, it's, it's a great day to put food in there. It's a great day to put food in there? So I might have to get my, uh, uh, my orange peel and put it in there. Yeah, you think so? Daddy, Daddy, here's in the that orange peel. Well, come here. Let's let's show everybody the wormies, okay? Okay, so what we do, people, now this is the newspaper we put in, oh, what was it, about two weeks ago? Edward, was it two weeks? Okay, so it's two weeks ago. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to lift this up, and we're going to start showing. Daddy said that there's no wormies in here. You didn't see them at all. I didn't say I didn't see any. I just said... Uh, we have some sprouts. <laughs> we have several things sprouting in here. What is it? What is it, Mommy? Oh, let's see. Uh, now they're hiding. There's a baby. Where is it? Right there. Where's the baby at? Oh, there's some. See him? Hey, baby! Hi. Yep, there's a whole bunch. See him? <laughs> See all those wormies? Watch out, there might be one in there. Is that a poop? Oh. Is that poop? No, that's not poop. That's a banana peel. There's some. Let's look for some more. Now, guys, by the way, we filled this bin about two weeks ago, and it was completely full of vegetable parts. I mean, you can still see some of it, celery, and, apple and, core. And we have and and even one. Look at this guy. Look at these guys. Look at this guy. They're really fat, everyone. They are fat. I think you're right, Nick. They're doing a really good job eating our vegetables, hey, aren't they? Are they? They're doing a really good job. But what do you think? Are they? Yeah, it's a very good job. No, don't do that. Come I'm, on. I'm going to wave hi. Okay. You waved hi. Now, come on. Let's say, let's show the wormies. This is all about the wormies. Um, so, hey, look at this. There's hay in there, too. Yeah? Can you tell everybody about wormies? What's the special thing about wormies? How do they, they are, are they boys and girls together? Yeah, and they also eat everything, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> let's put some vegetables down here for them, okay? We'll bring this stuff over here to them. I'm pretending he sees a teacher to make make them tell everybody that the that look at all the sprouts. Well, obviously this is some pretty fertile soil because we have tons and tons of bell pepper sprouts in here. This is all from bell peppers, people. So, and in fact, it's almost time for us to shred some more newspaper because this newspaper is starting to kind of fall apart a little bit. So, in meanwhile, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this little celery stick down here. So that way they can snack on it. Yeah, yeah, we want in. Hey, and then we're going to cover out. it back up. Uh oh, uh, and as you can see, we have these dang gnats. Well, my son's now laying on my arm, so I can't show you. But we have gnats. So, the gnats, yeah. Right there. We have them. Show so. them, show them, show them. Show them what? Uh -huh. Well, I was trying, but you were, like, climbing over me. What? Nack! You just ate the whole, you pulled the whole entire plant up. Oh, uh, sorry. Now it's not going to produce any more for you. No, now you eat it. And as you can see, our garden is completely safe. We can eat whatever we feel like eating out here. So we can pick from pretty much everything in this bed, um, except for, oh, my husband's showing me another snow pea. Look at that guy. I think I just recently showed you in my blog one of those snow peas. I think there's some more down there, by the way. <coughs> but everything in our garden over here especially. This is the one area that we do not put any kind of chemical on whatsoever. The only thing we use to get rid of the slugs is the beer traps, the coffee grounds, the eggshells, that's it. Yeah, we have had some damage. We've, we've definitely had damage. I mean, we've had... The slugs have gone after those. I can't even remember what type of, of lettuce they were. They did go after them. Um, we did catch our, a good portion of slugs. I'm hoping... Excuse me. Daddy, no. uh, oh, Daddy gave you a, a snow pea, huh?
Um, we have had our share of bosses. Um, some of these, even over here, showing a little bit of signs of it. But all in all, everything is not doing that bad. The sweet alyssum seems to be possibly helping with the stink bug problem. I'm happy about that. <coughs> our leeks, not so great. They were doing good for a while there, and now they're kind of fizzling out. Um, haha. <laughs> Exciting news. I don't know. Edward, have you seen this? Nick, watch out. What's that? They're all onions. All onions. These are onions when I... Oh, there goes Nick again. He is snacking on the lettuce. He knows that any time he can come out here, he grabs a bite. Or two. Or five. Or ten. He has a whole salad bowl just for him. We know he's a little veggie guy. So we, we made this especially for him. Oh, wait. we got to cover up the, the worm bin. <coughs> Since I have started this... No, do it. Say a vegetable muncher. You are a vegetable muncher. You're right. You are. Um, just to recap, everybody. Broccoli wrap that's gone to flour. Not good. It's going to turn to bitter. Okay, now I've got two men in front of me. Okay, there they go. Um, spring onions, which we just planted. Not from seed. Watch out, Nick. Watch out. <laughs> and Nick's being a ham. Um... Spring onions. We didn't plant these from seed. We planted these. Come on, Nick. Stop, stop, stop. I'm showing everybody. We planted these straight from onions. Like bottoms of onions. Look at my blog earlier. I'll, show, I'll give you a link. Yeah, you can go inside, Nick. Um, turnips. Carrots. Those are just regular carrots. We got these carrots at Home Depot. Um, arugula. I can even smell it. The fact that we've walked right past it. That thing, that stuff is going crazy. I, I can't believe it's gone to see, or it's gone to flower this fast. We, I, we keep eating the flowers off in hopes that it'll just keep reducing it. <laughs> um, our snow peas. There they are. They keep crawling every day. We just like, we like them like that. Um, these ones are from rareseeds.com, I believe it is. These are called Parisians. I think I've most posted them previously in another blog. Um, I've never tried them before. They're supposedly very fat. Um, I can't do that. Very fat, very short, um, but they're very sweet. They're very, very popular in France. Once again, Swiss chard. Uh, Brussels sprouts. Golden purslane. Uh, let me walk through the mud here. We are getting a little bit of mud, but the grass is growing in. We're very pleased with that. Red Russian Kale, thanks to somebody on YouTube. We really appreciate it. I tried it with them for something else. <coughs> um, eggplant. These are the traditional eggplants. You can't see the other eggplant because it's being covered by the dang snow peas that have gotten really big. Um, these are... Oh, itchy buns, which I want to see. Do I possibly have? No, I, I can't even pull that off yet. Um, if you've never grown eggplant before, do not ever, if you see this, I, oh, let's see, where is the flower? There it is. Oh, yeah, I can't get it up close. If you ever see that, don't pick off the flower. Not ready to come off yet. Um, that one has another one. Not ready to come off yet. They were probably even a little immature for even producing something this soon, but, um, so anyways, Ichiban, Ichiban, traditional eggplant, oh, by the way, we do have, which are kind of hidden in here, ooh, they've gotten really big, actually, these are our red, or, I mean, I'm sorry, our oval, Brazilian oval orange eggplants, there's another one on this side, um, that's a traditional eggplant, just the normal ones that you're used to seeing in the grocery store. Um, some sort of hot pepper, bell pepper, bell pepper, bell pepper. Uh, I think these are kind of bell peppers, bell peppers, bell peppers. Tomatoes, 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 tomatoes. Remember all, when you're actually tending your tomatoes, don't be afraid to prune them. I've learned this from somebody on, on uh, YouTube. His name is Praxis. Look him up. He has a lot of gardening advice. Always pick off your suckers. Your suckers are right here. See this little area right there? See that thing? Pick it off. It's not going to do him any good. Here's another one down here. See? 
very easy. Oh, here's another one. Oh, let me see if I can show that. Right there. See? Get rid of it. Don't need those there. They are not going to, they're not going to hurt tomato, but they're going to make it where it's a little hard for your tomato to really produce massively. This guy has none. He's kind of tiny. We've been nursing him back to health. I'm sorry if I'm a little shaky with the video. Um, <clears throat> obviously, our cucumbers over here are starting to take off. We direct sowed some. The seeds this year never seem to come up. These ones over here came up, but then the darn slugs got them. Um, <clears throat> I see some suckers on this one over here. I don't know if you saw that. Right there. Let's see. Right in there. Pick it off. Ugh. I just use my fingers. I have fingernails I can use for this. There's another one. Pick them off. Don't need them in there. My dad actually taught me this a while ago, and then I had no clue what the heck he was talking about. Oh, slug. These are the pests of our yard. I hate these. Normally I wouldn't mind them, but I hate them. Because you know what? They eat my vegetables. They eat a lot of it. Um, my husband recently learned a lesson that if they slime all over your lettuce, they're going to make your lettuce taste really nasty because they leave that slime behind. Ooh, there's a big spider in there. That They leave that slime behind, and it makes your lettuce taste so nasty. It tastes like earwax. It's gross. So, <clears throat> that is our beauty of how many slugs we have killed. Woohoo. And, of course, that nasty big spider. My husband will be picking that one out. I won't be doing anything with that one. I don't care if it's dead. I don't like it. I don't like spiders. <clears throat> That's the only thing, one of the only things I'm really afraid of. Um, grapes. Okra. Herbs that are be doing beautiful. Oregano. Uh, peppermint, lemon balm, sage, unknown plant that I still don't know the name of, but it's pretty. Stevia that's dead. Right back there, this guy's dead. We're going to be harvesting the leaves, using it for sweetening our tea. Um, I don't know if you guys knew, but, and I think I've mentioned it before in my video, but, um, stevia is a natural sweetener. It's a natural sugar. You can use this to sweeten your teas. Take a leaf or two, however sweet you want to stuff, put it in your tea. <clears throat> to eat a leaf is like eating, by taste-wise, about five tablespoons of sugar, to me anyways. I'm not used to sugar. So, it's a very good, it's a good sweetener. <clears throat> um, this is our Bahamas. This guy is massive. He's getting, oh, and Edward's going to be very excited by this. We have these guys. We've been waiting for him to send them out. But look at him. He has just grown massive. This damage right here, that is from squirrels. The squirrels, she's a bird feeder. They get so excited. The birds eat the food. They drop it on the leaves. The squirrel comes by, scrapes it off the leaf, drops it on the ground so he can eat it. Um, these right here, they're flowers. I didn't know they were going to have that bag. I guess I should, well, no, the packaging, I don't even think said anything about it, so. <coughs> um, more grapes. Look at them. They are doing awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I haven't done anything to these grapes other than feeding them compost tea. That is the only thing we fed them. Compost tea. Thank you, Praxis, again. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that, teaching us how to do that. Uh, more stevia. These are nasturtiums that have not yet sprouted. Oh, except for one. These are those ones that I showed you in the last block. They have canary, the canary um, nasturtiums. They're bright yellow. They look just like little birds. Uh, last picture you saw, I was telling you that there's a small tomato plant in there. There it is. This guy is going to far drown him out. He's really going to, unless this guy takes over fast, or it picks up fast on his speed, that guy's going to get very big very fast. Uh, which we really want these things to start growing fast because we're about to get into hornworm season. We want to get rid of them. One sec, Meg. One sec. You are? You're dusting? Very good. Woohoo. <clears throat> One last thing I have to do. Um, nasturtiums, tomatoes. Oh. Uh, 
that our hot peppers that aren't really producing anything at all. It's just staying there. Our chives have come back. For a while they were inside, they were not doing too hot. Our cat likes these. We have to keep them away from her. Or we have to keep her away from them. One of the two. Uh, because she will eat them down and then she throws them up all over the floor. It's not a very pretty sight. It's not fun. Uh, <coughs> sweet banana. This, the, whatever pe pepper we put in this area, never does well, simply because, and we know it, it doesn't get enough sun. That's the same reason for that guy. The reason why, it, it survived the winter, which is great. And I think it survived the winter is because it was right over there. But the reason why it didn't ever really start filling out is because we didn't move it into the sun until a month ago. And we left it out for maybe about two weeks. And then we brought it right back over here. They don't get enough sun here. Hot peppers especially like a lot of sun. They like hot. Think of a, a hot pepper. It likes sun. Um, <clears throat> because of the fact that, it's just think, hot pepper, hot sun. Hot pepper, hot sun. There you go. So, um, one last pepper. She's not looking so happy. Again, I think lack of sun. So, uh, the only thing I didn't show you was the potatoes. But I think you can kind of see them from here. We're going to have to put in the next layer on them. Uh, we do have some that are doing okay. You know, they're, they're, they're doing massively okay. I mean, they're doing great. I mean, look at this guy. This guy's trying to make an escape. I don't know where he thinks he's going to run off to, but, you know, he's trying to make the escape. So, I gave credit to him for that. But, <clears throat> look at these guys. Okay, no, good, good, good. One thing I was afraid of. I've been telling Edward lately, and I'm afraid of putting more in soil in here. Because we've got little tiny babies that are down here. You can't see all of them. <clears throat> we have tiny babies down here. And I'm afraid that we're not going to give them an opportunity to grow out, too. Therefore, AK, you know, just, it, we're not going to give them an opportunity to produce potatoes. That's not going to do any good for us. We need potatoes. We're not growing these just because they look pretty. So, about another week or two from now, um, we'll have our garden steaks, our tomatoes. We're going to get those, rect uh, those uh, triangle ones. Uh, <coughs> we'll have our living wall started to get set up, especially now that it's putting those little feelers out. Anytime a plant puts out those that's a crawling plant, you want to make sure you have stuff ready for it to start grabbing onto because you're going to want to train it really early where you want it to go. I've grown plants that are kind of like this in a way. Um, cucumbers being one of them over there. That crawl up that little fence over there. They crawl right up. So, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's our garden. Uh, thyme, pepper, uh, pineapple mint, rosemary, which seems to be making a comeback, and parsley. That's all, folks, and gardenia. So, ta ta all. Have a wonderful evening, and I hope that come Monday we're still seeing each other. Uh, because, of course, today is May 20th. So, <laughs> all right, bye.